last. For yeah, sure. I think it's gonna last. Yeah, for however long Sally May or whatever exists. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's like, uh, I, I think this one's going to be all right. It was a good show. It was a good show. We're back with a bad show. Uh, yeah. Hour three of it on the other side of this six minute break. AJ, what's that news you're going to break in the third hour that people yes. should listen for? I did see something uh, trending about a redneck rave where someone's throat was slit and somebody was impaled. So maybe we'll get to that in the third hour. We sure. will not be talking <laughs> about impalements or slitting of throats in the next hour. We'll see you then. All right, I feel like going handheld today, so I'm going uh, mic in hand today. Now, I've been on YouTube for a long time. I've been on YouTube since about 2007, 2006, and I've been doing this show the way I've been doing it, similar since 2012. Uh, I think longer than Pat McAfee. I don't know. So take that, Pat. Ha <laughs> ha. He's doing it better, though, so that's all that matters for him. But I, I don't know if this is a work or this is something that they sometimes do these little works, but this seems like he's actually pissed in this in this segment. And, and, and if he it makes sense if he is, because I've gotten this way, too, because, you know, YouTube is so crazy now. you got to be careful what you say. You could get demonetized. You could get a strike. You could get whatever. Usually it's more warnings and demonetization. Um, and, you know, Pat McAfee, this video, if it gets uploaded and goes well, this video and advertisements, you know, could potentially make them two to five, th maybe five, you know, well, okay, let's be honest. It could make anywhere from 500 to five thousand dollars right this video is worth five hundred to five thousand dollars which is a chunk of money that's somebody's salary for the month or two months or three months depending on how he pays and people and whatever else so you know here's the thing i say lots of crazy stuff usually it's okay um i've heard comedian shows do crazy shit like Say like Tim Dillon or somebody like that who I've been, you know, Bill Burr, Tim Dillon. Bill Burr doesn't care because he makes a ton of money everywhere. Who cares? Uh, got a ton of sponsorships. Even if some leave, he's still always going to have some sponsors somehow, somewhere. Um, Tim Dillon, if he loses, he gets tons of sponsorships. And even if he loses them, he's on Patreon making hundreds of thousands of dollars a month. So who cares? I don't think, Pat, you know, I think they rely on this income. Uh, and, you know, I see a lot of members in their chat. And if they get demonetized permanently, all these members in the chat are gone. So you lose, you know, $10,000 a month right there. Um, so you can see his face when this guy says uh, the R-A-P-E word. One's going to be around. Right, it was a good show. It was a good show. We're back with a bad show. Uh, hour three of it on the other side of this six minute break. AJ, what's that news you're going to break in the third hour that people yes. should listen for? Watch. See, I, this is why I don't think it's a work. And why am I breaking this down? Because I'm bored and it's a slow news day. Here's why I think this isn't a work. And it's just by and, and he could be selling it like we're not going to be talking about that after the break. But he doesn't talk about that. He talks about something else. Watch this. Here it comes. I did see something uh, trending about a redneck rave where someone's throat was slit and somebody was impaled. So maybe we'll get to that in the third hour. <laughs> look at the look on his face. He's like, no. He's like watching the dollar signs disappear as this guy says redneck rape and throat slit. <laughs> look at we will not be talking about <laughs> impalements or slitting of throats in the next hour. We'll see you then. Notice he didn't say the R-A-P-E word because that's what he's really concerned about. The throat thing isn't that big a deal. That's why he said it because that's he made a joke there with it. But the, he's really pissed off about the rape thing, I think. We will not be talking about impalements or slitting of throats in the next hour. We'll see you then. <laughs> Oh man, I mean, I'm sorry. I just happened to be watching that. I know, I you know, I'm always watching something somewhere, and that just that just killed me earlier. Everybody else will begin immediately following this beat drop from Twan. Wow, did you, know you look at that look on his face, dude? This is going on live right now, guys. I mean, you're watching this; it's not live anymore. But this is just at two o'clock p.m., dude. Look at the look on his face. He just got. He must have gotten chewed out off the air, dude. Because look at this Frankenstein-looking fucking face by this co-host, bro. Look at this guy. Watch this. The hammer down, boys. And everybody else will begin immediately following this beat drop from Twan. Look at that. Whoa. You know, everything's fine when you hear that. Twan. Oh, hell yeah. Hey, yeah. this show is maybe the worst we've ever done. And by <laughs> that, I mean me. Uh, this is 100% my fault. 
got vacation on the brain also focus so much on the giveaway yes. Yes. you know yeah man you know pat really do has has this has been weird man i don't want you know what's funny is i don't watch pat a lot i really don't you know because i've got my own shit to do and work and shows to do and things like that um so i don't really watch him that much but yeah he's like lost I think one of the biggest problems I'm noticing watching it is all the guys around him are also like being like yes men type. Like they're all just they're not adding anything. They're just kind of going, yes, Pat, that's what they said. OK, that's it. You know, someone's got to see he needs a co-host to step in and be like, yo, let's let's bust each other's balls or let's like bring something up. And right now it's just like dead. I don't know what the reason is for I that. I did see something uh, trending about a redneck rave where someone's throat was slit and somebody was impaled. So maybe we'll get to that in a third hour. Oh, that guy's pissed. Pat McAfee. We will not be talking <laughs> about impalements or slitting of throats in the next hour. We'll see you then. Dude, he flipped out on the, that break. Whatever break they had. They, <laughs> dude, he had a <laughs> He had a, some kind of freak out or whatever. Yo, Pat, give me a call, bro. 60 million views. Joe Cronin, what's going on? Um, it's weird. The guy really, it's like, I'm like the very less successful version of Pat McAfee. Pat McAfee's got a show with 1.4 million, uh, subscribers. Um, I have a show with 69,000 subscribers. <laughs> I've been on YouTube for a lot longer with way less. So I'm like the way less talented Pat McAfee. That's what I am. I'm a wrestling guy. 37 years old, about to be 37 years old. Wait a minute, how old am I turning? Holy shit, I, I just forgot my age. I'm 36, I'm turning 37. Oh my God, I, I'm, I can't figure it out. Anyway, I, I do wrestling play-by-play -play commentary on the indies for the last 10 years. I was a wrestler for a little while. You know, me and Pat, I am like the really really less way less successful piece of shit pat mcafee that's what joe cronin is so for anybody out there that always thinks that i'm so amazing or thinks that i think that i'm amazing whatever just remember that i called myself the way way less talented piece of shit pat mcafee that's what i am so there you go um i don't know i just happened to be watching this and i found it hilarious he just looked because i've done that before on my show that's what that's what made me laugh the most it's like i've been on my show where like we're like are we gonna be careful you know tonight and whatever the you know sensors and we want to make sure we make twenty dollars on this video because that makes me have a salary or have that i can pay you know if, if we make enough twenty dollar videos i can pay my my uh mortgage you know and then somebody on the show goes Hey, you know what? And then you just fucking... Like, your head explodes. You know what I mean? You're just like... Jesse, you know, Jesse, I'll say this word if I want to, Dustin Starr. Unbelievable. Unbelievable stuff. But anyway, I'm Joe Cronin. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video. There's a lot of wrestling news to get to, and I'm going to get to it in another video. So look for that video. You probably got these alerts on Patreon. I'm using the less, is, less good microphone because I just didn't feel like talking into the Shure microphone. Dude, I've also got the... I've, I've got so many microphones. I've used so many. You know, my, remember when my video went viral about microphones? That was weird. That was really cool. It went viral for like eight months. And people all used my Amazon code. And we made like a good chunk of change from people buying microphones on Amazon for like six months. But all good things come to an end. You know what I mean? Uh, they usually do. Now it's time to make more good things go longer. So subscribe to the channel. It's the Joe Cronin Show. Uh, this nine minutes was better than the Pat McAfee Show today, which was like three hours long. So I can say that with confidence at least. Uh, maybe I should have had a co-host here to talk about bludgeoning someone to death with a dildo. Um, anyway, have a good day. Uh, more wrestling news to come. I'll be live later, and uh, we'll talk more. Uh, in the next video, here's some other videos popping up that you might have missed that you want to continue to watch. Support me on Patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show because I need your support on Patreon. These big comedians don't need it. They've got 10,000 patrons a month. That's crazy. I've got almost 300. Let's do this Brock Lesnar style. Subscribe, like, all that stuff. Do it now. Seriously, I'm not even kidding. If you don't do it, I flip out.